Reports of an explosion near Tucson International blew up on social media, and now we have an explanation. It was a testing accident at Worldview Enterprises, the Tucson company that flies balloons to the edge of space. Kega 9 on your side's Craig Smith is live at Worldview with more on what happened. Hey, Craig. Well, they call this area behind me Tucson Spaceport. It's the launch pad for Worldview's balloons. It's near Tucson International and also near Raytheon. Now, just a couple of minutes ago, a U.S. government worker who works at Raytheon said that he happened to be stepping outside just as the explosion happened today. And he said, even though it's a pretty fair distance, the force was enough to rip a door out of his hand. So this was a substantial explosion. No wonder that we heard so many calls about it. Now, about 1 o'clock today, we did start getting those what was that calls for people living and working near here. By mid-afternoon, workers were gathering up the remains of the plastic balloons Worldview uses to lift instrument packages to the edge of space. This is video from an earlier launch. Worldview uses a special technology that lets a balloon and its payload stay in a designated area instead of drifting through. A lot of the customers require secrecy, so Worldview's operations officer could not share a lot of detail on the test. We had a fully stood up balloon. Uh, we'd done all of our testing. We were all very happy with the way the test had gone, and we were backing out of the test. Uh, and in the process of backing out of the test, the balloon ruptured. Uh, causing some minor damage to the building here. Uh, I think uh, sort of you know, shook some window panes, and uh, but everyone was fine. We, every, no people were hurt. There were no injuries. McCallum says he was not at liberty to say whether the balloon was filled with flammable hydrogen or helium, which will not burn. Both gases were present at the launch site. Now workers will analyze the ruptured balloon to learn how it happened and how to prevent a repeat. Now, Worldview actually became best known for proposing a different sort of balloon system to take tourists to the edge of space, then glide them back to Earth. But that, those tourist flights have really not happened yet. Flying research packages and flying missions for the Defense Department have kept Worldview so busy, it's been mostly engrossed in taking care of those. Reporting live, Craig Smith, KGON 9, on your side.